Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and if you saw my previous video or my last video, um, which I have since taken down, I used the incorrect measurements. And I don't know if you saw that video, you saw that I was concerned that the folder, the pocket folder, was not the right size. It just seemed too narrow. And I kept, you know, trying to figure out what I did wrong or if I did anything wrong, I thought it was correct. Well, turns out it's about, hmm, an inch too small. So half an inch on either side. Because when I was doing my measurements, I did not add an additional half inch for the flaps. So the flaps ate into the actual width of the folder. So, that was a crafting fail. I could probably still use these for some purpose, and I probably will. Could just keep them in here. Anyway, so these were the wrong size. If you watched that previous video, wrong size. Let's try that again. So this is my trusty double-sided paper pad. Since I um, did that incorrectly on the previous video, we're going to do a three-in-one here. I'm going to show you how to make just the basic paper folder. Then I'm going to show you how to convert that into the laminated folder. And then we're going to make a completely different folder, which is a double pocket folder, I think. So hopefully the video won't get too long and we'll go through this quickly. It's best to use a paper that it doesn't matter what um, orientation it is because you're going to fold up one side. Let's get started here. Now this is the crucial thing that I messed up on before and let's see if I can get it right this time. Okay. This is the top of the paper. I need to cut this at eight and a half inches wide where I did seven and a half last time because each side of the folder is three and three quarters, which makes seven and a half. And you add an inch, let me cut this off. You add an inch for your flap or your tabs, the little thingies that you fold over. <laughs> That's the top. We need to cut this at eight and a half wide. If you have eight and a half by 11 paper, you'll be wasting a lot less than I am. Oh, we're gonna cover up the bird. Let's save the bird. Let's cut it this way. Is that gonna save the bird? Yes. We'll save the bird. Or something else, I hope it does. Yes, it did. Let us cut the length of our folder to nine and three quarters. So this would totally work with a letter size sheet of paper. Ooh, it's thundering outside. Now we're going to do some scoring and we're going to score at the center, which would be four and one quarter. Then on each side at one half inch. So one half inch, one half inch. So one half inch, four and a quarter, eight inches. Okay. Then we're going to turn to the side and decide which end is going to be our bottom. This is supposed to be the top. Just making sure I got my paper orientation correct. So, now we're going to score at six and a half. This three and a quarter inches will be our flap that folds up. But before we do that, let's find our center mark and let's make our little triangle area. Find the center here. And we're going to mark a half inch on either side of the center. And I'm 
doing pretty big marks because it's hard to see on this I mean, this paper and then you're going to if you can see connect your tick marks to the center score and where your flap score meet so the center score and the flap score meet the pocket flap score I guess so this is drawing our little triangle here the bracelet okay and you do the same thing on the other side just draw your line this is where you're gonna cut you're gonna cut these two half inch flaps off of the bottom part so I'm not going to measure the miter on this one you just do a you can I would say an eighth of an inch would be good if you want to do the measuring I'll just do it eyeball it for this side and I'll measure the other side just to show you how you can do that so what you would do is again find find your score with some number I'm using the center finder to locate it and it looks like I'm going to have to use the other side because I cannot see that Let me sit down so I can see I still can't see it okay all right so you find your score mark and so I'm just going to measure an eighth of an inch over and then have that meet it's just too much here so when I'm cutting I can cut my miter and it's the same and again when you're cutting these flaps off the bottom part you cut slightly inside of the score mark and voila then we go ahead and cut our center triangle out and I cut on the outside edge of the pencil mark so that I don't have to erase it and let's try this again it really doesn't matter on this part because this is going to be on the inside part of the folder so you won't see it but that's just a little tip for future reference so if everything this is your basic shape this is what you should have this basic shape can create your folder there's a few other little things that I do to it but basically this is all you need to make the folder so you fold up your pockets and you fold over your side tabs just to make sure everything is cut properly and lines up properly and for once I actually cut that right without having to go back and cut off a slither then you fold the center fold and make sure everything lines up the way you want it to and burnish your creases really well everything now if you want it to that's it you can stop right there add your adhesive and keep it moving well I'm not going to stop right there and keep it moving and I'm going to try this glue stick again as I've shown before you could just glue this glue your own um, pockets down just like this what happens if you do that is you lose this extra half an inch of pocket space I want to keep that extra space so what I do is miter that little section and how I do that is I take my center finder ruler find the center and mark it then I measure I mark the outside edge of the flap then I measure one eighth inch on either side of that center mark then I connect my dots and that gives me 
a quarter inch miter. That's easy to cut. No guesswork. Again, use your center finder. Find where the pocket and the flat meet. Mark it on both sides of the tab. Oops. Then on the inside part of the tab, mark an eighth of an inch on either side of that center. Connect your dots to make a triangle. And that's your quarter inch miter, no fuss, no muss. All easy peasy. Now you just cut that out. So now you have that extra half inch of space for storage. You can glue everything down now and either stop there. Where's my board? So I'm just going to put... Flaps, the tabs. I don't know why I keep calling them flaps. They're tabs. And if you choose to round your corners, now's the time to do it. If you don't and you plan on laminating this, then just get these burnished down really well. If you don't round your corners now and you laminate, it's going to be difficult to round them later. I'll use this as an example. Here, I rounded all four corners. You definitely want to round the center fold because it eliminates some of the pressure of the band when you put your folder, pocket folder inside your traveler's notebook. Let me take these out. Woo, spooky. So that you can see. So here, See how the band sits down in that little space? It doesn't put so much pressure and it's less likely to rip if you decide to leave, leave it just, at, just like this, just the paper. Same thing with the laminate. It still could break the laminate, I guess you would say. So it just makes it fit in, slide in, fit in your band better. Anyway, so. I've been doing a half inch. Let's do a little smaller. And I'm gonna do quarter inch. So, and around the top corners. Bottom corner. I really don't want to. But. Let's not around the center fold. So there you have it. You could stop there or you could keep going. And I'm gonna go ahead and round this bottom corner. Okay, I'm ready to laminate this folder. If you just are happy with having a paper folder, then you'd stop here, put it in your traveler's notebook, and you're good to go. But we're gonna take it one step further and laminate this. So I'm gonna bring out my trusty old laminator. Move this over a little bit and just put the whole folder in the pouch open. I don't know why I crinkle the paper every time the laminate. 
And I try to center, I usually try to center it as best I can so that it's easier to line things up to cut it once it's laminated. So then centered and straight and we pop it in there and let it do what it does. Crinkle the laminate. Hopefully that will straighten out when it goes back through. Let's try it. Flip it over and run it through again. So that's done. Now get out the cut board. And you're going to cut off the excess, but make sure we're not going to cut too close to the little air bubble that is around the folder. So we're just going to start at the top. Let's see, coat cut very close. Oh but not cutting the edge off around the bubble. And you do that on all four sides. Voila, there you have it. All nicely laminated and cut down. Now you take your corner punch again. Oops, take the corner punch again and we're going to remove these sharp pointy edges using the quarter inch which doesn't cut this that great and I'll probably wind up going over this with the scissors I don't know why it doesn't, the, the half inch does great, but the quarter inch on the laminate does not do so great. Or maybe it's too thin and I should fold it and cut them together. But it's okay, I guess. Let's see, clean up these. Uh, I don't want to make a mess of it. I'll just leave it as is. Okay, so now is where you need a blade, or you could use the edge of a scissor if you feel comfortable doing cutting like that. I'm going to use a blade, and we're going to open up the pockets. To do that, you take your ruler, I don't think we're going to go all the way across here, and line that up along the edge of and so you gently and lightly draw your ruler across the line where the pocket is. See that? And that opens it up. It doesn't require a lot of pressure if your blade is sharp. It's very light touch. So if you press down too hard, you'll cut through not only the laminate but the paper too. So. You're gonna gentle cuts and you do the same thing it's on the sides of the folder. Gentle cuts. And sometimes if you don't meet at the corner good, it catches and I just gently pop that open. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on this other side. And you can feel if it's cutting. See, I didn't think that cut quite right. Um, it's kind of awkward for me cutting at this angle. I think that did it that time, yeah. So, that's basically it, except 
for folding it. So you find your center fold again, make sure everything is lining up. And you fold on that fold. You have to burnish it really good because of the laminate. And you should be all set other than, where's, oh, going ahead and punching these corners, the fold corners again. Oops. All the corners are punched, rounded, pockets open. Now let's see if this one fits a little bit better than the other one did. I'm going to venture out and say yes. That looks more like the correct size. Ta-da! There you have it. A personal size laminated folder with pockets. Let's see, can we put something in the pocket? For instance, some little page flags. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a question below or comment below and let me know what you think. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And that's it for now. I'll talk to you later.